Do you want nice health with healthy nails? You are welcome to the Foot Trooper. According to doctors at the Regional Dermatology Clinic in Washington City, nail fungus causes blood infections and necrosis. There is a solution, but it is not for everyone. Luisa Lopez is a doctor at the Washington City Regional Dermatology Clinic. Here are some excerpts from her press conference, the nail fungus enters the blood and internal organs that become septic, and the body begins to rot from the inside. Washington has the highest death rate in the world due to nail fungus. Every infected person dies in 10 to 14 years. Luisa Lopez is a specialist at the Washington Regional Dermatology Clinic and has given an exclusive interview to Why Are Nail Fungus So Deadly and How Can Death Be Avoided When Nails Turn Yellow and Fungus Grows? Why Is Nail Fungus Said to Be a Dangerous Disease? Do You Know How Many People Died of Mycosis in 2019? Last year, 55,000 people died in Washington City. Of this number 31,000 people died of nail fungus, which is more than half the total number. Toenail fungus not only affects the toe but is also absorbed into the blood through the feet and spreads throughout the body. It weakens the body from within and puts a lot of pressure on all organs. Its spores are deposited in the internal organs and begin to grow, causing damage to the body. This causes mycosis in the internal organs and means that the infected person begins to rot from the inside. In this situation, the person can have heart failure at any time. When the cerebral vein ruptures, the liver can develop cancer and the kidneys can stop working. Anyone with nail fungus is at great risk. Frequent colds, a lot of work or stress weaken the immune system and can lead to sudden death. That is why I consider nail fungus to be a very dangerous disease that is one of the leading causes of death across the country. We hear about cancer and tumors all the time, but keep in mind that cancer affects only 3 to 4 percent of the population, while nail fungus affects 1 in 2 people aged 40 to 45. So why can't doctors cure this disease? After all, your job is to save people's lives. First of all, let me tell you that most people who suffer from toenail fungus do not go to the doctor because they do not understand the risk of this disease. And even if they do go to the doctor, it's often too late. Normally, they are prescribed drugs that are of little use, and after that, they never go to the doctor again and the disease continues to progress. Fungal infections require frequent medical visits. Also, very few people understand the consequences of fungal infections and the damage they can cause to internal organs. I can list hundreds of such cases. It can alleviate some external symptoms of fungus, but this does not eliminate the risk of fatal results. You can die at any time. In addition, there is also a shortage of staff in skin clinics at the moment. The entire region has some experts in mycology, and we have a 37% shortage of dermatologists. More than half of the currently available staff do not have the appropriate qualifications. I doubt these people can identify and treat such a complex fungal infection. Many times it is better for people to stay at home than to receive treatment from a government doctor. Due to staff shortage, we have to hire unqualified staff. They all have a medical degree, some with honors, but these doctors are not experienced enough and can cause great harm to your health. Experienced physicians retire or pass away because they feel overwhelmed by such a high patient load and the stress on them is increasing. New doctors come to take their place and have no idea how to treat their patients. I wish my staff were more experienced and qualified but there is nothing I can do. Is the lack of experienced physicians in our region the reason for such a high mortality rate from fungal infections? This is one of the reasons, but there are others as well. We do not have an effective treatment for this. Pharmacies sell many kinds of medicines, and if you want, they will also sell you some over-the-counter drugs that don't help. Outdated drugs are useless, and new products being announced don't provide much relief. The drugs prescribed by doctors are also nothing special. They provide little relief, damage the liver and stomach, and do great harm to the body. These drugs simply suppress the external symptoms but the yeast infection does not go away and continues to eat you from the inside. Due to these reasons, nail fungus causes blood poisoning and infections in internal organs that lead to death. You can receive treatment in a private hospital, but these two have low-skilled doctors. They have doctors with little experience who do not know much about diseases and their treatment. 
The main goal of these hospitals is to steal the patient's money as much as possible. They are not interested in your proper treatment. So what should people who have nail fungus do? Can't they do anything but just wait for imminent death? As an experienced doctor, you have to solve this problem. Look, it's not like I'm sitting around doing nothing, but there's nothing you can do about the staffing problem. It is the job of medical colleges and universities to approve good doctors, what can I do about this? I myself cannot train doctors. If we think that all this will change overnight, it's not going to happen. There are similar problems in other parts of Washington, and people everywhere are suffering. But when it seems all hope is lost, there's always a ray of hope. Recently, something revolutionary has been developed to save people's lives. The project is likely to launch at the end of 2020, but here people can get this treatment immediately earlier than in other regions. Why do you think this product will change the situation? It eliminates the external symptoms of the feet and cleanses the body from the inside, completely curing the toenail fungus. The risk of death is reduced to almost zero in the first few days of starting to use the product. By simply starting this treatment, the patient is excluded from the risk group. This treatment eliminates fungal cells accumulated in the blood and internal organs. The damage that has been killing the patient from within is stopped immediately. In my opinion, this product can save thousands of lives. What is the trade name of this product and why is it so effective? This is the most effective